Hello, 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 everyone. Hey guys, you are watching Cruise Ship Vacation 101. Okay, <laughs> enough goofing around. So I just came back from a cruise ship, guys, and I am excited. This was my first cruise ship ever. I've never been on a cruise ship. I've always heard about it. I've always seen it. I've always been kind of skeptical. Like, hold on. I don't want to drown. Is this another Titanic? Hold on. I can't swim. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be nauseous. So, but it was amazing, like amazing. And I just wanted to do this video um, just to go through the process of a cruise ship, um, tell you about the ups and the downs, um, tell you about what happened during the cruise ship, what to bring during a cruise ship if you're thinking about it, to kind of break down any questions you may have, any ideas, false ideas, whatever, all that stuff. So that's what this video is about. I, like I said earlier, I went on a cruise ship um, on the Carnival Conquest ship. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, we went, we, we left April 7th at 4 p.m. from Fort Lauderdale port and then we got back April 13 at the same port at around like 8 a.m. and so we left April 7th um, we got to Nassau Bahamas the next day 9 a.m. in the morning and we got a period from like 9 a.m. to about 3 30 to kind of hang spend in Nassau Bahamas And then we went on the boat and we did it again. The next day we stopped at Half Moon K, Bahamas. Um, and then the next day after that, we did Grand Turk, Bahamas. No, sorry, not Bahamas. Grand Turk is an island of its own. And then the next day we got to Dominican Republic. Um, and it was gorgeous it was just amazing so on our final day before arrival we have what we call it's what they call a sea day um, and a sea day pretty much is a day where you're in the middle of the ocean and there's no stops uh, we're just hanging out in the middle of the ocean for the whole day until we arrive back to the port um, the next morning. So the sea day was fun because you get to do a ton of activities um, because you're on the boat. So there's a ton more activities uh, where you get to do. There's a lot of farewell activities that they have, which today, April 12, was our sea day. And you can kind of see it on top. It was... the so it's it's called friday so it's friday april 12 it says enjoy your fun farewell day at the sea at sea um and so it gives you the hours on there and it gives you like the dress code uh for your dinner so it says cruise casual so the sea day we didn't have to dress up elegant for our dinner appointment um also there was like a ton of different activities that was going on on that day um there's always activities going on but i feel like on the on the sea day it was nice because i got to take it all in i got to actually just stay on the ship and enjoy a lot of the activities and there's a ton of sales that are happening so that's how they get your money y'all <laughs> they have sales and they have jewelry and they have um so many things the cafe shop is not free they have a steakhouse restaurant specifically like set aside that's not free um but you won't feel you won't feel left out because the food you get is excellent it's great quality you get what filet mignon you get shrimp you get uh chicken alfredo you get shrimp you get so much you get so much that you wouldn't even think twice about the steakhouse restaurant let's And then of course the drinks, the alcoholic drinks, all that stuff you have to pay for. So that's where the, the amount kind of piles up is those little areas. Um, the spa, which let me see, so right here. So there's a spa, but there's like different services that they offer. Um, so that you have a fitness center which is free to go and work out but if you start doing classes that you have to pay for and then you have the spa which is not free they have different services you can choose from they have a detox service they have um i think a botox they can give you botox but where's botox right here so they can give you botox you know um and that's 
And that's another service. They have movies every night, family friendly movies that happen on the deck. So as you can see, these are the movies here. And it tells you what movies is going on. So Ralph breaks the internet and Mary Poppins return. And then it gives you the time right there. Um, and on here is just a list of different types of music and what areas the music are happening at. So you know. And then if you see, these are the shopping. These, This is shopping. And you can see all the sales. Um, the 2 for 20 t-shirts. The 2 for 30 Laco Watch gift set which they got me y'all I got like four of them so this is the one I got I did I did <laughs> and it wasn't a bad deal it's pretty it's pretty pretty I like it it was a rose gold I don't know if you can see that well rose gold yeah and I got several of them um and I don't regret it they were really nice so I got those and then what else they have 20% off select chocolate. They have an F E E F F Y jewelry, blowout jewelry sale and party. Um, they have a grand finale auction, which I went to. It was beautiful. Um, they have something for the kids and teens. And yeah, so on here it tells you breakfast, different areas you can eat breakfast at, where you can eat lunch at. Um, and dinner yeah yeah so you'll get usually get all this once you arrive once you enter the boat once you enter the ship sorry so you know exactly what's going on what's happening um so let's start from the top apart from the amazing trip I had let's just go from top to bottom so first of all if you're thinking about a cruise going on a cruise you definitely need to do it um, the one thing you just need to narrow down is the dates like what are the dates you're thinking about going on the cruise and what's the length so if you have a specific time off you're thinking okay I want to go on maybe on a four-day cruise on a, on a on a six day cruise on one week cruise whatever and then you break it down to the port what port are you willing to live from if you live in an area with a port that is awesome I don't so I live in the beautiful city of Chicago yeah yeah so I had to fly to I picked well I chose to fly into Fort Lauderdale because I've flown in before and the tickets are quite inexpensive so I was like you know what let me do Fort Lauderdale but there's so many other ports there's California there's New York there's Baltimore there's so many more that I'm probably missing but deciding what port you're gonna fly in and remembering that you are the one covering your ticket your cruise ship when you pay for the cruise that's separate and then you have to cover your ticket going and coming so consider that when you're planning this whole thing and then also hotel um, for us we came a day earlier just because we didn't want to take the chance of God forbid flights being canceled bad weather or whatever whatever but some people did come the same day because um, you start boarding at like 12 p.m. all the way to like when well to like about 3 because we leave at 4 p.m. So if you're like me and like to plan ahead and like to, you know, foresee stuff and plan for it, then you can come a day earlier, get a hotel, all that good stuff, right? So next thing is once you've narrowed down all that, you know, the dates, you know, the port, okay, bam. Once you find the cruise, let's say there's multiple different cruises you can go on for the time slot, the, the port and all that stuff. Then you start looking at the ship. There are different ships, like Carnival has Carnival Conquest, Carnival what, Ecstasy, Carnival Victory, or something. there's so many. There's like, not and not just Carnival, there's um, Celebrity Cruises, but there's many. There's pretty, my whole point is like, there's a ton of ships. So, once you see the one, start looking at the ships. If there's multiple ships for the time you want to go, start Googling pictures to see like the inside of the ship, see what it looks like and all that stuff. Um, see what is included, because um, that can really help your decision. So, next thing is you want to compare prices. So, I get a lot of questions about where did you book your cruise ship um, at and why. So, initially for me, I like to compare prices. So, I started out with, you can start out with like Travelocity, Priceline, um, I think Expedia, all those different websites and see what they offer you, right? See what the price is. And then you break it down to the lowest one, right? And then you can go directly to the cruise ship website itself 
go directly to the cruise ship website itself and then compare the prices so for me when I went directly to carnival I found that the price was not big of a difference so I was just like you know what let me just book directly with carnival itself carnival website so we went ahead and booked for carnival you want to make sure you book your ticket early the earlier you get the better deals you get um, if you wait till last minute you can get a good deal because um, that's if the ship is not full so for my ship I'm so glad I didn't wait last minute because when we got on board even before on board it was completely booked um, so even when we wanted to make a room change to a balcony room it, there was no rooms available um, so you can also if you book late there's chances maybe there's a, a couple rooms available and they'll give you a great deal but it's up to you I personally didn't want to risk it so I booked early um, also with booking early they give you an option you can pay a deposit and then pay the rest later so you don't have to pay the big chunk right away you can do like a deposit um, which is what we did so I know you're wondering what's in this price okay what am I paying for when I pay for a cruise ship I'll let you know so in your cruise ship price you have your food and your accommodation and onboard entertainment not all but majority of onboard entertainment let me break it down for you so on the cruise ship you have um, basically you have a room you have your room right it's like a hotel room so it's like a mini sized hotel room it's not very spacious but it's enough for you you know you got a bed, you got room to move around, you have your bath, uh, bathroom, you have your um, cabinets and all that stuff. And this is just from me talking from being on the Carnival Conquest. I don't know what your ship, what ship you're going on. You can also look at the rooms ahead of time by, you know, finding pictures online. Um, and also, if you get a balcony room, you'll get a little bit more space because you have the balcony and, you know, you're, it, it'll be a lot more spacious for you. But your bathroom is in your room, of course. Um, and also that is included and every day they make sure they clean your room, um, get, they give you fresh new towels, what else, fresh new towels, that's about it. So clean your room, fresh new towels, yeah. So, so in regards to the food, there is a ton of food, there is so much food you don't even have to worry about food like there is a ton like I overate I'm still feeling the effects of overeating I had to I know this is TMI I had to drink some some cleansing tea once I came back to just kind of flush me out because <laughs> I ate so much I ate more than I normally do options in regards to the onboard entertainment so there is a lot going on so I'm just gonna pull this out so this is what you get every day so on the carnival conquest they would put this in front of our door you have like a little mini mailbox in front of your door they put the fun times so every day it's a daily thing so this was April 12 Friday I have one from every day but I just pulled out this one and so this will tell you all the entertainment that's available for that day and what time it is so as you can see you have jackpot bingo you know bingo is never free you gotta pay money for that uh, military appreciation gathering that was free debarkation presentation that was free grew for st. Jude, uh, Jude that was um, it was free but it was donations lights camera interaction that was a game show that they had on board Farewell Balloon Drop, Lip Sync Battle, um, 80s Music Trivia Party, The Punchliner Comedy Club, that was free. So majority of the events on the ship are pretty much free. 
the only things that weren't free were um, bingo what else the casino anything happening in the casino wasn't free um, and that's about it but the events majority are free in regards to entertainment that was it um, but there's a ton of stuff happening every day the fun times will tell you depending on what cruise ship you go on there they probably have their way of telling you as well and also carnival has an app on the phone so a phone app that you can download and access all this stuff you can mark it so and it sends you a reminder when it's time for the specific event that you've chosen so let's get down to um, checking in so once you've You've gotten the ticket. I'm sorry. You bought your um, cruise. You know what airline? What um, got you cruise? You got your airline ticket going and coming, and you've decided on which one you're gonna go on. Then you're gonna get notified to check in online. So checking in online, and this is for my carnival experience. Checking in online, you wanna make sure you have your flight ticket ready. Um, you wanna make sure you have your passport or green card, because um, you are gonna be depending. Well, most likely you're going to be going out of country so you need you know the information that allows you to go get back into the country so definitely your passport or if you have a u.s green card um you can also buy any excursions that you want to do let's say you want to go kayaking or you want to go um so, or you want to go jet skiing or you want to do any activities on any of the islands you can buy it ahead of time and once you get off the boat you'll see you go with a group um, you go with a group that has that is gonna be they're gonna take you to where your excursion is what what you're trying to do um, and they'll take you there but you can do all that during your check-in process so you can buy all that so you don't have to worry about it when you get off the boat um, uh, da, 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 da. you can also buy your internet plan. So there was no internet on the boat. So you can't, without buying the plan, you can't access social media, you can't access anything. Um, so you do, if you do want to keep in touch with your family at home, all that stuff, you have to buy an internet plan. Um, depending on what you're looking for, there's a social media internet plan which allows you only access to social media, but you can't make any WhatsApp calls, you can't make calls from Messenger, anything like that, you can only chat. And uh, there's one that allows you unlimited, but it's a bit more. I think it was a hundred, almost $200 um, for the unlimited one, which allows you to call and WhatsApp and social media and all that. And also the ship has its own chatting um, chatting uh app i guess so the carnival app itself on it you can chat with other people on the ship but you have to pay five dollars they pay five dollars but you can just you can chat with everybody on the ship as long as they have the carnival app okay so on the day of check-in you check in at the port you're given a check-in time whether you are check-in time was 12 30 so we got to the port in fort lauderdale at 12 30. um so there is a baggage allowance you want to make sure you want to check with your cruise ship what is the baggage allowance for carnival it was only one regular like regular size luggage and one carry-on that was allowed and of course your personal item your um purse and stuff um, and then also there is a liquid allowance and then an alcohol allowance um, Liquid allowance was one liter per person. So if you're thinking of bringing like a whole thing of water Make sure it's one liter total per person um, And then alcohol allowance. I'm not really sure you just have to ask them um, And see what it is, but there is a limit Also, there's a list of items not allowed while you're on the ship you can't have i think i don't know if you can have flat iron but i, I know there was a list of things that weren't allowed because just because of, oh you can't bring an iron that's for sure you can't bring an iron um to iron your clothes they already provide that to a specific room that you have to go to to iron your clothes but you can't bring your own and there's a couple other items you want to look and just make sure that you don't have any of those because when you go through security if it dings them they will take it out and they will you know you will be leaving those items behind probably in the trash you don't want that so on the ship on the ship there's so much you can do from food unlimited to entertainment um, on the carnival conquest specifically 
my ship that was an arcade I went to an art auction with beautiful artwork um, there was different clubs that you can go to there was a nightclub there was a day club whatever whatever club there's a lounge um, where you just sit and relax and listen to jazz music there's a theater where they have shows, um, different shows each night, and they have games, family-friendly games that will make you laugh so hard. It was hilarious. And there's a pool on the main, um, on the, I guess on the deck, if that's what they call it, the top level. Um, there's a, there was a mini, there was a mini basketball court. There was a mini volleyball court. They had miniature golfing. They had so much they had jacuzzis different different jacuzzis so it was nice and they had a water slide which was quite awesome um shopping wise shopping that's where they get you honey that's where they get you so shopping you have a jewelry store you have a candy store you have a gift store you have a store to buy beach wear you have the cafe to get you some nice caramel macchiata but it's not no Starbucks honey but it's still okay <laughs> and you have a picture gallery because there will always be somebody taking pictures of you wherever you go and then you have to buy it and it's not cheap so you might want to bring your good your phone and take pictures of yourself And there is music, of course, from Latin music to, um, there wasn't any gospel music, which I was like, hmm, but uh, from Latin music all the way to jazz, blues, all that stuff is, is there. Um, so that's awesome. <laughs> So off the ship, when you get off the ship, they always scan your card. When you get off the ship to do, you know, to hang out, you can always just chill on the beach. We chilled on the beach for the most part. Until we went to Dominican Republic, then we took a taxi into town. But apart from there, we chilled on the beach. Nasa Bahamas, we were let, we were brought right into their downtown area. So we're able to kind of walk around, see the stores. Um, and then when it's time to check in, they will always give you a check-in time. When it's time to check in, you scan your card, you go through security again. You, um, every All your item goes through scanning. So don't bring anything on the ship that you wouldn't bring when you're coming back like into the U.S. Such as like live items, live, um, I think, like, live food, live fruits, vegetable, all that stuff. Um, even alcohol, I think you have to, there's still a limit on you. The limit still applies to you. I think still, I don't know what it is, but there's still a limit on you. So make sure you clarify all that. You don't want to waste your money and buy stuff and then have to throw it away and they take it away. Okay. Um, so that is it for my cruise experience. I'm just going to list all the things that I wish I would have packed. Um, for the cruise, but just some of them I did, but just in general, just things you want to make sure you bring. So because you do have a room, yes, it's like a hotel room, but they do, they only provide you with, um, it looks like shampoo and conditioner. It's, it's just blue, it's like this blue soap and this uh, peach looking soap. I don't know which is which. So I would recommend you bringing your own body wash or soap. Um, you definitely want to do that. They do provide you with a towel. They do provide you with a beach towel um, that you can take with you. And they, they can always rewash and replace every day. So, But it's, so it's up to you if you want to bring your own. Um, Beach-wise, you want to make sure you bring your uh, beach eyewear, goggles, or whatever you need to cover your eyes. Because it is salt water that you're going into. <laughs> I learned the hard way. And salt water can burn when it enters your eyes you know it burns so make sure you cover your eyes bring something cover your eyes if you do plan on swimming you want to bring sunscreen because it is hot it is hot I got sunburn I wish I can even show you I got Sun you can see it oh ooh. I got some you you surely see this you see the difference 
I got sunburn. See, this is my normal skin. This is my burnt skin. Burnt and burnt. So I got sunburn. So bring sunscreen. Bring a strong one because the heat there is strong. Um, bring any inflatable devices you want. Like if you need a floating a donut to float or whatever you want maybe to just lie in the water some inflatable chair bring that and you can just blow it up once you um, once you get on land because they charge you for that stuff so they charge you is it like $13 or something like that for that just to rent it not even to have it so if you can go to the store go to the dollar store go wherever buy your own and blow it up when you get on the boat when you get outside when you get on land a great idea also bring flip-flops don't forget you need flip-flops that's very important bring a water bottle because there is water stations on the ship with ice and regular water but it's, they just give you a cup so if you are a big drinker of water and definitely you want to carry that around too on land because it's so hot bring a water bottle bring a coffee mug if you're if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker bring your own coffee mug so you can have that accessible there is coffee station as well on the ship on uh, where the where the buffet is and where you eat dinner, lunch, breakfast, that area always has a coffee station, water station, juice station. So bring the needed items to take those. Um, bring casual wear, of course. Bring casual wear, bring bathing suit, but also bring a bathing suit covers. There are areas that they don't permit you to wear a bathing suit. You know, you don't want everything hanging around, hanging out and just be walking everywhere. There's some places that they want you to at least just put a cover on. And that's usually the dinner area. Put a cover on, bring casual wear and bring elegant wear. They do have, you do have assigned dinner times. Our assigned dinner time was 8 p.m. And so during those times, you go in, you go to a nice restaurant. Ours was on the third floor. You know, third floor, it's a really nice restaurant. You have a waiter that serves you. Very professional, very elegant, just very, um, just beautiful. Not a place you want to wear bathing suit or wear any, you know what I mean? So they have nights where it's elegant, where men wear their suits and their ties and stuff, and women wear their gowns looking pretty and come to dinner. And then they have casual nights, which is, you know, you wear your jeans or you wear your skirts or you wear, you know, your tops, just, just casual, but not like exposed or like, you know, short shorts or anything like that. Um, other things that you do want to bring, definitely want to bring an air freshener. Because the rooms are not that spacious, because the rooms are not that spacious, um, and then your bathroom is in the room, of course, you know, eating all that food, it's going to come out one way or the other. You know, hopefully it comes out that way and not this way. So, you want to bring air freshener to freshen the air, make the air nice and peachy for all who are in it. So guys, that is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. I, I don't know what else to tell you, but you have to experience a cruise ship on your own. It is an amazing adventure. It is an amazing way to go to different areas at one time. It is fun. It is relaxing. It is kid friendly. They have a kids club where you can, the kids go to, they spend, they have activities for them and they don't come back to nighttime. They have a teenage club where they go to, I think they call it Oceans or something, Oceans Teenage Club. So they have it for them. They have time for you and your spouse just to hang out. There is so much to do. There's so much to do. Um, I don't think I even did it justice to list all the all the things available, but there's a lot. There is a lot um, to do on a cruise ship. And don't forget, you always want to make sure you carry cash with you. Um, just because when you get on the islands, you know, the different islands, if you want to buy anything, it's going to be cash um, that they of course buy but if you want to buy anything on the ship you can just use your ship card and it's attached to your credit card so you can either attach it to your debit card or a credit card and that you can do when you check in online um 
yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys thank you for taking a moment and watching this if you're thinking of an, of going on a cruise you definitely have to it is life-changing it is refreshing um hopefully this was helpful if it was let me know if you have any other questions feel free to send me a message down below and please don't forget to Bye. like this video subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys have a blessed one